Hey guys, Megan again with ReachWrite. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to add your sermons to your ReachWrite website. So here we're on our messages page. I've already uploaded um, a few of these, uh, but we're going to add some new ones. So let's get started. So we're going to go up here to our black bar. This is obviously you're logged into your website and we're going to go to new sermon. This is going to look a little similar because a lot of the editors look pretty similar, which makes it easy. So here's our sermon title. Um, so this literally is the title of your sermon. Okay, it can be as long as you want. Uh, this is where you're going to put your content of your sermon. And I know um, I've mentioned this before. Having content within your sermon is important for um, website management. So it's going to be a good idea that you put something here, whether it's just a couple blurbs um, about the sermon, um, some sermon notes. Uh, I've had some clients that will do a full transcript of the message. It's obviously completely up to you, but I would never recommend to leave this blank. Okay, so I would put um, some content uh, goes here, large or small. Okay, a couple sentences versus a couple paragraphs. Um, that kind of stuff will help. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. So the date that your sermon was preached. Okay. Um, service type. Right now, this this one has none. This is going to be for um, if you maybe have a like a Wednesday night service. Um, obviously, that's different from your Sunday morning service. If you happen to record both, then you'd want to differentiate between what services you're doing or if you had a Saturday night service versus a Sunday morning and they're different. Obviously, if you only record uh, one of your service times, then you don't even need to mess with this. But this is really, hey, if you've got more than one service type that we're recording audio or video or both, um, you can obviously differentiate here or leave this alone. If you do need to go add a service type, you do that here. Modify service types here um, where you can add those in. Okay. Um, if you've got any main Bible passages that you're discussing during your sermon that you can use, um, you need to type those in here. These are just, again, for auto-tagging. So I'm just going to copy what they have down here just so you can see what that does. Obviously, if you've got a couple, like they say, you're just going to do a comma and keep going. If you're doing MP3, um, you are going to pull that in here. Okay, so if you only have audio file, you would add that here just by um, going to your media library, uploading it here. Okay, um, I'll upload one just so we can see how that looks. Let's see. I'll just take that one. Your MP3 files do have to be under 50 megabytes to be uploaded onto your website. So if you are running into a problem where your audio files are too large, you're going to get a warning over here that says your file's too big, and then you're going to need to compress that below 50 megabytes. So most of your sermons, you know, even if they are an hour long, um, shouldn't be above 50 megabytes. You should be able to compress those without um, distorting the quality or anything. So we'll let this finish loading here. It's almost done. And they do need to be an MP3. If they are any other uh, file type, it's not going to work. So MP3, um, we need to do that. All right, so this one has uploaded. So we're just going to use this file. So now it sticks my MP3 file right here. Um, if you're doing video instead or in addition to, this is where you will put your embed code from YouTube um, or Facebook, or you can add your video link from Facebook. So I'm actually going to add... Um, Let's just do another video that I've done. We'll add that in here. So you can either you can either take your link here, your um, copy link from here, or you can do an embed. Okay. Either way, you get the same video. Okay. So I'm just going to embed these. If you do have sermon notes in a PDF that you want to add, you would do that here. Same thing if you have a church bulletin or newsletter that you want to add, you can add those directly in here, which is pretty neat. Um, this part over here is where we're going to get into our tagging. So this is if you want to add a sermon image. Most of the time, you guys, when you do preach, you use graphics 
Um, if you do, you're just going to go pull up your graphics here um, in your media library. So let's grab a different one. So we'll take that one. Okay. Bible books. If you um, discussed, obviously, John, like I did over here, we're just going to type in John. Every time over here, if you have already added a book of the Bible, you're not going to have to add it again. It's going to be saved over here. So um, this is just for the first time. If you did more than one Bible book, obviously you can put however many books of the Bible that you choose to over here for tagging. That's just for personal preference. Um, same thing goes for your topics. Obviously, most of the time when you are preaching a sermon, you're talking about some sort of topic, whether it be marriage, finances, um, faith, whatever. Um, adding tags and topics here are really going to help um, search engine optimization. Um, it's going to help people find your website a little more. So the, the habit that you get into now um, should just be to go ahead and start using these um, to help you out. So we'll do faith and family. Okay. Now, if you preach in a series, so let's say sermon title is a part of um, a series. So I'm going to obviously be preaching for three more weeks on this. So your series usually has some sort of topic or a title, excuse me. So um, I'm just going to add a series title there. There it is. Speakers. Um, this is obviously where you're going to put who is speaking. Once you put yourself in there, you're in there every time again. If you have a guest speaker, um, this is just a way for another filter to find you. Um, another way that you can filter on your sermons page. So I've put all my information here. Now I'm going to go publish this so we can go take a look. So now let's go view our sermon. So here you'll see this is my embed code. Um, this is what the embed code does for your video. If we were to have used, and obviously YouTube, as you can see within the code, it makes my video 560 pixels by 315. You can go in and change that if you want if you're fancy enough, or let's go back and we're actually gonna copy the code and see what that does just for difference. So we'll go back down here. I'm gonna add my video link here and I'm going to remove my embed code. I'm just gonna show you the difference of what those two things do. Let's go view that again. So now we've got a full width video because it's just gonna push it in wherever, however big your screen is, okay? So those are your two options. So here's my video, it's ready to play right here. So somebody can obviously watch your sermon. Your audio file is right underneath, okay? Okay, here's my sermon title. Here's my speaker, the date it was preached. There's my series title. There's the book of the Bible that I tagged and here are my, my category tags. So faith and family is what I chose to tag. Obviously all my content was here. My scripture that we tagged, which is pretty neat that it's got Bible tagger here. So if somebody just wants to hover and read that one, you know, few key verses that you put, there they are. If they want to download your audio file, they're gonna click this and it's gonna auto download, okay? Same thing, if they wanna, if you wanna share this sermon with somebody, pretty easy. You can share through all of these elements here, um, you know, quickly share to Facebook and Twitter here, or you have all these other options here, okay? So let's go to our messages page and we'll just see what that one. So that one just added into the file. It just goes um, in date order. OK, so there's all of the ones that we've uh, put in here. And here's, you know, if I had more speakers in my filter, it would pull them all up here. My series, I've got five, you know, four series here. So those are all uh, labeled and easy to find. My topics are here and then my books that I've tagged are here. Um, one of the biggest things that I find that we kind of forget as we go along is um, you do have to put a series image in. So on some of our websites, your um, sermons are kind of pulling in on your home page or they might be filtered a different way. So we will want to go back here on the dashboard um, where we have sermons pro 
we're going to see all of our sermons here. So here's every sermon that we've put in, all your topics and stuff here. And again, if you want to go back into any of your older sermons, this is how you go back in. And you can obviously go into these older ones and add topics, tags, change things around if you needed to. Um, so we're going to go back into our uh, my series tab. So you'll see that the new one that we put in, we just did this one. There's my series title. It has no graphic. So if this were to be programmed somewhere else on your website to pull in um, your series, or if somebody decided to look at your series versus a sermon, um, it wouldn't be able to pull up because there's no graphic. So if you remember, come back in here. Let's add a series graphic so that that pulls in. Okay. Um, all of your other settings and stuff are pretty uh, set by us. We go program all that stuff in for you. Um, but this is Sermon Manager, and I really think you guys will like the way this looks. It's just pretty easy to use. Um, the views are pretty nice. And it looks great. So I hope this helped you guys out just adding adding audio and video. And on another thing, if you if you don't have video, then a photo is going to show up instead with just your audio file. Vice versa, if you don't have audio and you only have video, you put one or the other in um, and that takes care of this whole section here. Okay.